guys, it's Breland here, and today I'm gonna be showing you even more smartphone hacks. I never really did life hacks for all phones, and that's the reason why I wanted to make this video. You may already know some of these. If you do, so sorry about that. Oh, and I'm also giving away two MacBook Airs. If you want to enter to win, all you have to do is subscribe to become an official Glitter Critter. So this is also a collaboration with some of my amazing friends, including Haley Williams and Jennifer from Generation DIY. So make sure you go and you check out their videos. I'll be sure to post the link at the top of the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to their channels. Let's get started. If you lose your phone and you're home alone, you have no one to call it for you, this works for any phone. You can download this app called Clap Me. You don't know where your phone is, so you just loudly clap three times and it'll basically scream and it sounds like a rooster. <laughs> Cool. So this hack is for people who have more than one Apple device and that is if you still can't find your phone even if you downloaded that app, you can go to any of your other Apple devices and FaceTime audio your phone. So all you gotta do is just click on your FaceTime application, open it up. So you can search your name and then you just want to click on FaceTime and then it'll give you the option to FaceTime audio. Do the FaceTime audio because that's actually going to ring your phone with your regular ringer and you will be able to find your phone because you can actually call it from your other Apple devices. Really genius, ain't it? Okay, so the next hack is, it's kind of more like a tip than a hack, but yet it kind of is a hack. It's hard to explain. So I was on Amazon the other night and I found these. <laughs> And yes, you are looking at this correctly. So I found these little iPhone panties. <laughs> so how these work is they stretch over the bottom of your phone. This is how you put panties on your iPhone. <laughs> it's almost a thong. And this is what it looks like after you get your iPhone's panties on. <laughs> it's supposed to stop you from being able to press this home button here. It's a dust protector. And then this here just looks so cute because you know, your phone is wearing a thong. And who wouldn't, who wouldn't think that was cute, right? Okay, let's move on. So when I was on Amazon, again, I was still on Amazon, I was looking at some really weird iPhone accessories, and I came across this. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. So I came across this little mini microphone for your phone. I swear I've never seen anything like this before in my life, but I thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen and I really just wanted to share it with you. It looks just like, you know, like a singer's microphone, like, yes, you don't want me to sing, okay? So this is the little microphone. It is so cute. This is the headphone jack. I'm just putting this into the headphone jack and now I can record voice memos and things of that nature. So now let's test out the audio. Hello, it's Breland here. Today, I am gonna be showing you how to do really strange things. <laughs> it sounds a little crisper. It's not gonna be like amazing or anything. So this next hack is something that I figured out after I updated my iPhone. Now this is only for iPhone I think, but who knows, Android may have the same exact thing. I'm not sure because I am not an Android user. And let's say you're in school and you use your notes to like write an essay, maybe you can use it to write notes obviously like for a specific subject in school or just anything in general and then if you look at the top of the note you'll see that there is a contact symbol so what you can do is you can add any of your friends your contacts whoever you want to this note so both of you can edit it so let's say you're in class and you guys needed to take notes on a specific subject and you can say, I'm taking notes too. How about we share these notes together? You can edit the notes, I can edit the notes and we can like add to it and just help each other out. So for this hack, if you've ever been watching a movie or a TV show, I know like MTV, they always have like the coolest songs on their reality shows and you really didn't catch enough of the song to be able to look up what the artist is or what the lyrics are. Well, what you can do is you can download this one app. I used to use it all the time and it's called Sound Hound. I promise this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to include some apps that are really helpful. 
So you can just click on Sound Hound. So I'm gonna play The Greatest by Sia. I may have to edit this out of the video because I can't play copywritten music in this video. Copyright laws state that I am not allowed to put this song in my video. Sorry. And there it is. This next hack, it was actually an app recommended to me by my bestest friend in the whole wide world, Slava. His channel is Slava. If you want to go and check him out, I will link it below. And it's called Steps. Let's say if you want to know how many steps you take in a day and you want to track how active you are. So you put in all of your information, like how much you weigh, your height, your age, your sex. You can also track your calories. You can track all sorts of things. So this next hack involves a straw. I like to use a straw to blow out like all of these little holes down here to get the dust out of them. It's not only precise, but it keeps you from getting spit inside of these little holes. <gasps> okay, <laughs> it's just a great way to clean out your phone and make sure that it works perfectly. So this next hack involves tin foil and with tin foil you can basically make anything into a stylus pen. For example, I'm going to use some of this candy here and you just want to wrap it in the tin foil just like this. Now because this is bigger obviously it's not going to work as good for those little buttons so if you want to text with it Good luck. <laughs> so now I can use my candy stylus pen to scroll through all of my apps. Like how cool is that? So another thing you can do is you can wrap a lid. I don't have a pen on me right now. I have this mechanical pencil. And you can wrap the lid of your pen. This is such a good concept for school. I know it looks kind of ratchet, it'll still work. Put it on your pencil, and now you'll have like a pen and you'll have a stylus pen in one. So you want to make sure you use a pretty good bit of tin foil, otherwise it's not going to work very well. Okay, so I just recently bought some squishies. You can actually use squishies to lean your phone against. If you use a squishy that does have grip and not as much paint on it, of course it's going to hold your phone up a lot better. And now you can like watch videos or whatever with your squishy. If you ever find yourself having trouble not only propping your phone up but just like having it sitting straight up, I recommend getting some of these super cheap clips. You can get these at the dollar store. Turn them to the side and you can put one side of your phone there and then one side of your phone there. And now your phone is propped up. And there you go, your phone will stay sitting up just like this. This is basically like legs for your phone. I mean, how cool is that? Okay, so this next hack applies to pretty much any smartphone, especially if you have Google Maps. So let's say you need a map somewhere and you may not have signal. It's super easy to save a certain area. So that way if you lose signal, you won't lose the map or the ability to look at your map to get where you're going. So what you do is offline areas right here. Once you're there, you can go to custom area and you can actually drag where you want. So let's say if I'm in Moscow, all I have to do is click download. And this is definitely a helpful feature if you travel a lot. So another really cool thing you can do on your phone is you can transfer like a ton of pictures and videos with one little app that I use all the time. I use this on my computer and I even have the app. A lot of you may not even know that they have an app and that's We Transfer. So let's say you have a super long video but it's like five minutes long. You can't text it to your friends so you're gonna have to have another way to send it and we transfer actually sends videos and pictures and anything else so fast and you can send a really big file like tons of big files so I talked about SoundHound in this video but if you do have an iPhone Siri can actually identify a song that's playing to do this all you have to do is ask Siri what song is playing and I'm gonna let her listen to the greatest by Sia and let's see can she identify it 
copyright laws state that I am not allowed to do this on my video. Sorry. So she got it right. So Siri is your very own sound hound built into your iPhone. So if you want to up your social media and smartphone photography game, I have such a cool hack. If you want to put like an actual photo filter on your smartphone camera, you can use sunglasses. And if you look at these sunglasses, you can see that there is a gradient effect going on. So those make the best filter. You put the sunglasses in front of the camera lens and then you snap your photo. So that was without the sunglasses. Now for the sunglasses. Another really cool photography trick to up your Instagram game even more is to either make a cardboard or use like a phone case or something like that as a frame in real life. I'm gonna frame my face with it just like this. And then you wanna go to your camera and take a photo of yourself in the frame. Another really cool photography trick you can do is you can get like any kind of cardboard or something that has a cutout. So for this hack, you can either use this on your face or you can position this in front of like a really colorful background. So another hack is you can use the little pinhole that I made in this cardboard and you just want to position it over the camera hole just like this. So I know on Snapchat you can like use a color to edit the photo, but you can also use things in real life to edit the photo, like literally edit it in real life. So I also wanted to show you how you can use any super colorful beads or anything colorful to alter your photo. Hold it up next to the lens and this is going to make such a cool effect on the photo. So another bonus hack is you can use rainbow loom rubber bands to create filters for your photos. So this is the rubber band I used. I know I've done the balloon phone case in another video a long time ago, but I thought it was such a cool hack. I really wanted to add a different spin to it. So I decided to take some of these Sharpie markers. These are the paint markers. And I'm gonna paint this balloon with this because I don't have any balloons with patterns or anything. I really wish I did. That's what I would recommend doing. I'm just gonna draw like some random stuff on it. So we're gonna do pink, I'm gonna do some green blue, orange, yellow. Also, you wanna be careful you don't get this too close to where you have to put your mouth. There we go. Look how cool that is, oh my gosh. So this is the final balloon phone case product. As you can see, I just decorated it. It looks kind of rough. It's really a lot of fun, especially if you have kids. They would probably enjoy this. Remember to subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below this video to become an official glitter critter and you'll automatically be entered to win one of these MacBook Airs here. So I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you, bye.